47, the San Francisco 49ers begin training camp today, and it's surprising a lot of people that wide receiver Brandon Ayuk is there despite a big disagreement about his contract. Stephanie Sanchez of the 49 Kara's 49ers podcast joins me to talk about that. And also, Steph, I want to talk to you about a remarkable offer we're finding out about that Kyle Shanahan made to a legendary coach. Good morning. Good morning, Sal. How's it going? It's going well. You know what? Uh, yesterday we were talking because I was on your podcast. That was great fun, by the way. Uh, I didn't know at the time about Kyle Shanahan offering Bill Belichick basically anything he wants. Can you imagine Belichick being the defensive coordinator? No, no offense to anyone who's there now, but can you imagine that? Yeah, well, I mean, honestly, I think that's just a smart decision by Kyle to see what would happen if he asked. I mean, they had an open defensive coordinator job this offseason. You know, the 49ers, highly coveted team, just went to the Super Bowl. And, you know, Bill Belichick's resume speaks for itself. And so you got to shoot your shot. And I do have respect for Kyle Shanahan for, for doing that, for trying. And, you know, I also respect Bill Belichick for turning it down. So no love lost there. But I think we can all appreciate the gesture. Brandon Ayuk, uh, Steph, uh, is at camp. I'm a little surprised by that in a good way. Uh, I don't think the kid has any leverage. Uh, I, I think if he doesn't play, if he holds out and doesn't play, his value goes down. We talked about him not being a Justin Jefferson yesterday on your pod. Uh, he's not quite that level of elite. I think that $14 million that, uh, that they're paying him is too low. Can't they meet in the middle somewhere? Yeah, they, they definitely could, and that and that's definitely what both sides are trying to get to at this point. Brandon Ayuk requested a trade just a week or so ago, and, yeah, he reported to camp yesterday. So up to this point, I'm getting a lot of, like, mixed feelings about what's actually going on here. Uh, but I do want to remind people that Brandon Ayuk reporting to camp doesn't necessarily mean that he'll be participating in practice. It's more likely he's just there to avoid fines. He's probably going to be in the weight room, side field, or what people refer to as holding in. And this strategy has worked for some guys before. Debo Samuel did it a couple years back and sometimes just being in the building can help bridge those gaps a little bit better uh last question because and we talked about how tv time is short but uh brock purdy uh coming up soon they're gonna have to pay the man upward of 60 million dollars that's probably why the 49ers are watching their money isn't it it could be, and we saw Trevor Lawrence, another quarterback, get paid this offseason. He got a handsome penny as well. Jordan Love is probably the next up to get paid, and there are reports that that deal could get done soon. So it is possible that the 49ers are kind of waiting to see what happens with that deal before making any uh, decisions on Brandon Ayuk. All right, Steph, uh, I want to promote our podcast that we did yesterday. It was really great to sit down with you for 45 minutes and talk about all the nuances. You can go to Steph's X site and get the link there. Thank you for inviting me, and hopefully we can do that soon. And we'll have you on again here soon, too. Yeah, I hope so, Sal. Uh, have a good one. Go Niners. Yeah, that's right. Go Niners. Thanks, Steph.